Uh, first question, very general. What brings you to KSC today? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm I'm here to uh, support uh, Roberto's launch. I am uh, another Italian astronaut training right now, so it, it seemed like a very um, a very uh, good idea to just have me here to answer questions and to uh, support in general the launch as much as I can. Great. What were some of the very uh, special training activities that Roberto had to go through for today's launch? Well, Roberto has uh, two very important roles on the mission today, uh, that, that lives today. He is the M2, which is the only other member of the, of the team that stays in the cockpit and he uh, will, will help uh, the commander and the pilot during the most critical phases of the flight, so launch and re-entry. So that, that is one role that he had to train specifically for. And then, of course, the other role that he has is uh, as a robotic operator for the shuttle arm. He will be, uh, he will be handling the AMS, the payload, which is the most, uh, the most important payload for today's mission. Uh, he will be handling it with the shuttle arm before installing on the space station. Now, as I understand, he actually has to pick up the AMS, which is a fairly big unit. It, it has a massive, uh, uh, quite a big mass, and he has to actually get it out of the shuttle cargo bay and over towards the ISS, where it's going to be mounted on the outside. Is that is that sort of how it works for him? That is, this is absolutely correct. That's what he's going to do. He will be, um, he will be operating the, the shuttle arm and very delicately pick up the, the AMS, and uh, which is also, which is an extremely delicate payload, uh, as all scientific payloads are and then he will be installing it on the, on the outside of the space station where he will be powered to, to complete his, uh, to, to do his job. And it's, um, I, I have been working myself on the, robotic, on the robotic arm and I can tell you that it's an extremely delicate uh, job and it, it's really hard to master, but I'm sure, that, I'm sure Roberto will do uh, ex extremely well. Great. Now, uh, his colleague, uh, Paolo Nespoli, has already been in the ISS now for uh, geez, a number of months, and uh, he's also Italian, and Roberto, of course, is Italian. And uh, Roberto is just going up for, for a, a short mission, but uh, is he bringing anything special for uh, Paolo? Is he bringing some uh, little pack of uh, food from home or uh, anything like that? Well, let, let me put it this way. I would like to leave that as a surprise because I know that Roberto and Paolo are actually going to organize an Italian night uh, while, the, while the shuttle is docked on the space station. So I don't know what the menu will be, but I am positive that the shuttle crew and the, and the ISS crew will find that a very, very nice surprise and a very nice moment to share as an experience on the space station. This is fabulous. Now, I'm just wondering, what, uh, what stage are you at in your training? You've uh, actually already completed uh, basic training uh, with the first, uh, with the, the most recent uh, round of uh, IS astronaut uh, trainees. What, uh, what stage are you at now? Uh, that is correct. I was qualified as an astronaut in last November together with my uh, colleagues at the European Astronaut Center. And right now I've been training on the Soyuz on which I will fly in 2013. Mm -hmm. And uh, here in, uh, in the United States I've been working on EVA training uh, that is extravehicular activity. So in the, in the pool with the space station uh, underneath and uh, the spacesuit. Uh, I've also been working on the space station systems. Uh, I remind people that we call it a space station, but it is actually a vehicle. It's a, it's a spaceship flying around the Earth. And um, another thing that I, as I was saying, another thing that I'm working on is my robotics qualifications. Okay, great. Good, thank you very much and uh, have a good day and uh, uh, well, have a, good, uh, have a good launch when you do launch. Thank you very much. Thanks.